Hello there guys, welcome to this next episode of the Real Madrid gameplay and it is uh, basically it's happy birthday to us because it is the 15th of December which only means one thing and that is when the transfer window finally opens and we can bring in all of these wonderful players. So this squad is looking a lot different. I've just recently played two games behind closed doors simply because I just wanted to get them done before we start with this Osasuna game and it really is now it's game on at this point because we have got players galore in this team that I think will absolutely nail it so um, let's basically build this team I bought this guy as well Magnussen uh, for 275k I took you, your guys advice and did the Scandinavian search uh, he's one that came up so I'm definitely going to play this guy um, and then with that we will shove uh, Taribo because like someone said before he's the best central defender that we've got at the club um, uh, defense uh, left back we were going to go for Roberto Carlos but we can't at the minute so I'm thinking Solari can come in for that for this game Duff there Vieira keeps his place and this is where it comes amazing because now we have quite a few options in midfield um, we're looking very good obviously we're going to have Seydorf obviously Zidane's going to have a go in there as well um, that really just leaves the left I mean I'm tempted to play this guy see how he's gotten on um, you know, he could do a job. There's there's no harm. You've got Mark Kerr as well. He could come into the fold. I think I will play Kerr just for the sake of it. Bought this guy in as well, this 16-year-old lad. I'm really excited about him. Um, Tom Madeira's back in as well. So I'm thinking Raul Madeira. You know, there's so many that we could play here. This is, this is where the options really start to stack up for us. Um, and I'm quite excited by this. So, I mean, it's amazing. I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon with, with what we've got here. Um, and let's just see how we get on, really. Let's just try this first game now. There's going to be so many players here. Just auto them. Um, and let's go. Let's go into this first game at home to Osasuna. Um, hopefully, whether... Yep, yeah, there we go. Didn't really take long for the, for the players to settle in. And I'm hoping now that this might be lift-off that we need because it just hasn't happened for us at the moment. Oh, God, there we go. <laughs> it's bloody typical. You bring in all the players in the world. We are actually also after Cannavaro as well. Decided to go for an experienced um, central defender. If that's the case and we do manage to get him in, it's more than likely that I'm going to sell Karanka and Hierro, to be honest with you. I mean, I might keep Hierro because he's a good bench player, but the likes of Karanka, or maybe Karanka, actually, try and keep him. Um, because Hierro will probably be on more money, to be honest with you. But this seems to be quite an open game again. We seem to be letting quite a few goals. And Trebo's West playing a four. Christ, he's coming off. I'm bringing on Hierro. That was that's a disgrace of a performance by um, Trebo West. Um, but it looks like we are going to get the points here. And I, for one, am extremely happy with that performance off the bat. Really happy. Um, all of a sudden, we're into the mix again, uh, which is a very, very good sight indeed and the problem is when we get to the Champions League there's going to be so many that are exhausted that, that, that can't play sorry that are ineligible um, but we'll see Barcelona next away Eesh, I'm thinking I actually don't know really if I want to I really want to play this I like this guy and I believe this guy needs a chance but I'm not. I'm not going to at the moment. I'm going to keep the same team, and we'll sort of see how we go. We'll put him as a hot prospect. Why not? Keep him happy for a few seasons anyway. That. Okay, we're going to get rid of Jeremy. Just give me him. And I'm hoping that our bid for um, Cannavaro is accepted as well, and we can actually get him in. At centre back as well, right? Yeah, he's given us that. That's fine. We do actually need a little, well, fifty-eight mil. You know, we spent a lot of money there, but balance is always going to be good at Madrid. Okay, Roberto Carlos is actually back, so he can come in instead of Solari. Uh, that works. Um, Jeremy can go to the B team because he's going. There's quite a few players that can do a job here, and it's it's trying to pick the right the right ones, but. I don't think this is going to end well for us. Oh, okay, maybe not. Let's just, let's just see how it goes here. But Barcelona at the minute are playing very, very well. So 
we kind of just have to weather that storm. And I'm trusting Teribo West to put in a performance after that disgraceful one last time. I should have really um, warned him about that, disciplined him. 2-0. Roberto Carlos with the goal. The thing is now, you've got to sort of keep this till half-time. I don't really know if I want to change the formation. Or shall I change the formation? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on going. Oh, <laughs> three nil, three nil in the new camp to Bas uh, to Real Madrid. Sorry, what is going on here? This is gonna make the board very happy. Okay, don't let this slip. Kerr, you are coming off. I'm gonna put Zidane in the middle. Let's put Hosseth on. Let's give him um, a game. Let's give him his debut here. Let's see what this guy can do on the ball. I'm hoping he can do a bit. Do not concede another one, otherwise we are gonna be screwed here. And it'd be such a shame after all that hard work of scoring those three goals. Oh shit! Here we go. This is it. This is it. Here comes the equaliser. Oh God! Yes, get in. He's got his debut. They're going to be delighted. I was going to say they will be with that. That takes us to second. Celta just seems to be running away with this. Right, that's a massive win. We go to Alaves next game. It'd be a shame if we slipped up there. I'm really hoping that we sort of keep our heads. Um, beast. okay, right. This has been accepted. This is where it gets interesting. Let me just. I know I'm gonna be very picky here but I want him in yeah he can decide where he's going I'm not bothered where he goes to okay okay yeah I'll need to have a look at the recommended players here Jeremy accepts that that's fine right he's gone that's 4.1 million oh Campo yes just get him out get him out just give me 1.7 mil like straight up and he's yours get in right okay so these are let me put them in order of where we are here so he's not a bad defender Flavio the Brazilian doesn't seem to be some good there seems to be some good players there Gooty, yeah, I've put him up for sale as well. No, he's going for six million and that's it. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's get him out on loan. That'll be good. 100 million spent. That's crazy, isn't it? I think we've spent that much money. So now I'm going to take West out because I personally don't think he's up to it, if I'm being perfectly honest here. Um... I'm going to shove Helger in there, which means I could actually have a little play around with um, with this guy. And I think I will. Let me move him around. Right, Alaves are 19th here, so this is a nice opportunity to see what we can do. Right, okay, let me see. Let's see how well we play at the back now with Cannavaro. So we've got Cannavaro and Magnus Magnuson. I'm hoping they can do a much better job. Um, the thing is, like there, there are a lot of leaders in that team. Do you know what I mean? Like you got Raúl Vieira, Zidane, Cannavaro, Roberto Carlos, Casillas is there as well. Like you know, it's it's there's a lot of quality in this squad. Get in, yes, he scored as well. That's good. So at least the defend the defenders are. Uh, chipping in with goals as well. That's exactly what we needed. Brilliant. Okay, clean sheet at half time as well. And then we've got the Spanish. Cup. Yeah, I'm going to play a shit team in that, and that'll set us up nicely for Zaragoza because um, we've got the squad now to do that. Uh, we just need to get the result here first. And um, yeah, hopefully, when that's in, or well, if it comes in, should I say? That'll be good news. Yes, get in. Nice, Seidorf. Two goals, that's why we bought him. 
these new signings are starting to really settle in now. This I think this is the turning point of our season. I was looking at that league table just then, and if we win that game in hand, we go joint top with them. Um, that that is just massive. The turnaround that we've done, you know, I, I was just feeling that we were getting nowhere to now being a complete dominant force. Um, the thing is, these players won't be available in the Champions League, but it's not the end of the world though. That's the that's the thing. That's a good that's a good result. I'm happy with a clean sheet. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. That video went on a bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, yeah, come and join us for the next episode: Spanish Cup second round, and then Zaragoza are away. Uh, and then we've got Deportivo and Barcelona at home. Oh, and then Celta. Oh, Jesus, this is a big spell for us now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, come and check that out. I'll see you guys later.